हेलो दोस्तों दिस इज अभिषेक आज हम इस वीडियो में टॉप फोर्टी जावास्क्रिप्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन और आंसर को पढ़ेंगे हर क्वेश्चन के साथ में आंसर और उसके साथ में एक एग्जांपल ऐड होगा इस वीडियो में ये वीडियो ये वीडियो आपके लिए बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट हो सकती है अगर आप अपने इंटरव्यू के लिए प्रिपेयर प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं तो इस वीडियो को एक बार ज़रूर देख के जाएँ ये आपके लिए बहुत हेल्पफुल साबित होगी इन क्वेश्चन का इंटरव्यू में पूछा जाने का चांसेस सबसे ज़्यादा होते हैं तो चलिए देखते हैं What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a high-level interpreted programming language that enables interactive web pages. It's widely used for both front-end and back-end development. JavaScript is executed by a web browser and enables dynamic content and interactivity on websites. Second one. What are the data types in JavaScript? JavaScript has primitive data types like string, number, boolean, null and undefined along with the complex data type object. Understanding data type is crucial for variable declaration and manipulation. Third one what is the difference between let const and where let and const are block scoped and where is function scoped let and where can be reassigned but const can not be reassigned after declaration variable scoping affects the visibility and lifetime of variables fourth one What is hoisting in JavaScript? Hoisting in is JavaScript's default behavior of moving declarations to the top of the current scope. Variables are hoisted but not their values. Fifth one, what is the this keyword in javascript this refers to the object on which a method was called or the object that is currently being constructed by a constructor function this allows access to object properties within methods and constructors sixth one what is closer in javascript a closer is a function that remembers the variables from the outer scope even after the function has finished executing closers maintain state and create private variables in javascript seventh one what are arrow functions arrow functions provide a more concise syntax concise syntax for writing anonymous functions arrow functions are often used for short simple functions Eighth question: What are template literals? Template literals are string literals allowing allowing embedded expressions. They are enclosed by backticks and can contain placeholder. Template literals allow easy string formatting. Ninth question. what are promises in javascript promises are objects representing the eventual completion or failure of an ank asynchronous operation they are used to handle async operations promises improve readability and manageability of asynchronous code tenth question what is destructuring assignment 
destructuring assignment allows you to extract values from arrays or objects into distinct variables destructuring simplifies working with complex data structures Eleventh question: What is the map function? Map is used to create a new array by applying a function to each element of an existing array. Map transforms data in arrays without modifying the original array. Twelfth question. what are rest parameters rest parameters allows a function to accept an indefinite number of arg arguments as an array rest parameters simplify handling variable numbers of arguments 13th question what is the spread operator the spread operator allows an iterable to expand in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected spread spread operator simplifies array manipulation and creation 14th question What is async await? Async await is a syntax for handling asynchronous operations, making asynchronous code look and behave like a synchronous code. Async await simplifies working with asynchronous code, making it appear synchronous. Fifteenth question. What is the difference between null and undefined? Null represents the intentional absence of any object value. Undefined represents a variable that has been declared but has not been assigned a value. Understanding the difference is more is important for data checking and handling. Sixteenth question. What is the purpose of the filter function? Filter creates a new array with elements that pass the test implemented by the provided function. Filter simplifies the process of selecting specify specific elements from an array. 17th question What is the reduce function? Reduce applies a function against an accumulator and each element in the array to reduce it to a single value. Reduce is useful for aggregating data into a single value. Eighteenth question: What is the difference between double square and triple square equal double equals to and triple equals to double equals to checks for equality after typing uh, type coercion while triple equals to checks for equality without type coercion understanding the difference help avoid unexpected type coercion issues what is the purpose of the find function find returns the first element in an array that satisfies the provided testing function find is used for locating a single element in an array based on a condition 20th question what is the sum function used for some test whether at least one element in the array passes the test implemented by the provided function 
सम सिंप्लीफाइज चेकिंग इफ एनी एलिमेंट इन एन एरे मीट्स अ कंडीशन ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्लाइस एंड स्प्लाइस स्लाइस रिटर्न अ शेलो कॉपी ऑफ अ पोर्शन ऑफ एन एरे स्प्लाइस चेंज इज द कंटेंट्स ऑफ एन एरे बाय रिमूविंग रिप्लेसिंग एलिमेंट्स स्लाइस क्रिएट्स अ न्यू एरे वाइल स्प्लाइस मॉडिफाइज द ओरिजिनल एरे then what is for each method used for for each executes a provided function once for each array element for each simplifies iterating over array elements then explain event delegation in javascript Event delegation uses a single event listener to manage events for child elements. Event delegation improves performance and reduces memory usage. Then difference between find and filter methods. find returns the first element that satisfies the condition filter returns all elements that <coughs> satisfy the condition find returns the first match filter returns all matches <coughs> and then purpose of object keys methods object key returns an array of objects in enumerable property names object key simplifies extracting object property names then difference between object create and new object object create creates an object with specified prototype new object creates an empty object object create allows specifying prototype new object creates basic object then explain callback function callback function callback are functions passed as arguments and executed later callbacks are common in asynchronous programming then purpose of array is array method array dot is array checks if a value is an array useful for verifying if a variable is an array then what are default parameters in function Default parameters have initial values if no value is passed. Default parameters set a fallback value if none provided. Then what is starts with method used for starts with checks if a string starts with specified characters starts with simplifies prefix checking in strings
then what is the find index method used for find index returns the index of the first element in an array that satisfies the provided testing function find index is useful when you need the index of the first matching element then what are javascript promises promises represent the eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation and its resulting value promises simplify working with asynchronous code making it more readable and manageable then what is the purpose of the to local string method to local string method to local string returns a string representing the object using the specified options such as language and formatting to local string provides localized formatting of dates and numbers then what is the javascript fetch api used for fetch allows making network request similar to xml http request it returns a promise that resolve the to the response to that request fetch simplifies making http request and handling responses then what are javascript generators generators are functions that can be paused and resumed allowing you to produce a sequence of values lazily they are cre created using function syntax generators provided provide a convenient way to create iterators then explain the concept of the event loop in javascript the event loop is a fun fundamental concept that enables asynchronous non blocking io operation it continuously checks the message queue and executes the next message the event loop ensures responsiveness and non blocking behavior in javascript applications then what are javascript set and map objects set objects allow storing unique values of an any type map objects hold key values pairs and remember the original insertion order of keys sets and maps provide efficient data structures for unique values and key value pairs respectively then what is the purpose of the javascript proxy object proxy object allows creating a custom behavior for fundamental operations like property lookup assignment function innovation invocation etc proxies enables intercepting and customizing operations on objects then what is web storage in javascript web storage provides mechanism for browser to store key values pairs locally including local storage persistent and session storage session based web storage allows storing data persistently or for the duration of a session then what is the javascript atop and batoa function used for atop decodes a base64 encoded string batoa encodes a string to base64 representation these functions are useful for encoding and decoding data for transmission